Hey, Mark Scott here reporting. Do a couple of stories today. I'm going to mix it up today. I'm going to make a, a smorgasbord of stories. Right? A couple of, uh, mostly a slideshow. Let's try a slideshow. Yeah, so, just check this picture out, man. It's crazy. It's just crazy, man. What do we see here? What do we see here? What is this? Oh, damn. These guys are getting, guys are under the gun. See that shit, man? Let me give you some clarity on that. So, you got, what do you got there? You got, you got two guys at AK 47s, two guys laying flat on their bellies. Right? And you got two guys ready to shoot them, right? Like they look they look pretty comfortable too. They look like they're on a beach fucking beach blanket, right? You got these guys smiling their asses off. Hey man, oh shit, I'm having a good fucking time here, right? You got kids in the front row snapping shots, snapping pictures. Everybody's like fucking look up in the top row, man. Top rows. People taking taking selfies, man. They wanna get in on the they wanna get in on that shit. Man, look at that shit. Hey man. Hey, look at me, mom. I was at the killing. I was at the killing. These guys must have did something fucking horrible, right? To deserve that shit. Right? That's Yemen. That's Yemen. Yemen. Damn, fucking Yemen. So what did they do, man? So what did they do? Let's find out. So Public pedophile executions. <laughs> police uh, police officers prepare for execution of uh, two two gentlemen in in Aden, Yemen. Right? We saw them, man. It was no no shit. Right? Chilling photograph captures the moment. Two pedophiles were executed in front of a large crowd in Yemen's port city of Aden for raping and murdering a twelve year old boy. I know this is a hot subject for a lot of people. A lot of people won't. Is there a buzz? I hear a buzz. I know this is a very, very topical uh, 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 topic for a lot of people in our community, right? The Pizzagate. You guys love that shit, man. You love your fucking Pizzagate, right? Trying to catch the pedophiles fucking around, right? Everybody in Hollywood's a pedophile. But this is real, man. This is like actual, actual busted, right? And I'll tell you what they did, right? So, uh, it, it's, uh, did I just read that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Chilling photograph captures the moment two pedophiles were executed in front of a large crowd in Yemen's port city of Aden for raping and murdering a 12-year-old boy. Wow. They raped and murdered a 12-year-old, right? Now, the age of consent, just for the record, the age of consent in Yemen, the war poverty-stricken Yemen, is actually, there is no age of consent. They, they, there's men... And these guys will marry nine-year-old, as little as nine-year-old girls, right? See, it's more about, it's about homo homophilia, homosexuality is illegal in Yemen. So there's more of that going on. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to make light of a 12-year-old a getting raped. These guys may just as, just, they may be getting exactly what they need. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a discussion. I, I'm just one person, right? So, uh, Wada Raf, Rafat, 28, a 28-year-old and a 31-year-old, were convicted by a court of, uh, of abduct, abducting Mohammed Saad, that's the 12-year-old boy, dragging him into one of their homes and sexually assaulting him in May 2018. After the rape, quote, after the rape, they could not silence the cries of the child who begged for help. One of them grabbed a knife and cracked his necks, his neck. The sentencing judge said. That's fucking brutal, right? It's cool, cruel. A 33-year-old female relative of one of the accomplices also was sentenced to death for helping to dismember the child's body. But her public execution was postponed because she is pregnant. Ah, that would have been a twofer. Get, get them both. Get her and the baby. One bullet. <laughs> Bada bing. After being marched at gunpoint to the execution site, the two were offered some water by a doctor. Oh, how nice of them. Get a little water on the way out. Before they were ordered to face lie to, to order to lie face down on the blanket, two men then stood over them, pointed AK forty sevens at their back, and opened fire as a large crowd cheered in the background. Ah, they're fucking cheering. This is like the Roman shit. Right? Now, Yemen's fucked up i i mean it's just a it's just a discussion it's a it's a riveting photograph i mean you you see it like that's the story but there it is i mean that's that's the 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 um 
the essence of it right now, up right out there. Now, should we do this in our country? Should we? Should that be down there? Should that be James Comey and Hillary Clinton? Right? Should it be uh, all the other treasonous, uh, treasonous fucks in our country that that rig elections? Right? Should that be the should that be the penalty for treason right there? Right? Rigged elections. Right? Fucking taking the money, from, taking money, taking money, 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 money from the from the corrupt corporations, right? Starting insurgency wars that don't matter. Should we shoot them? Right? Is that should that be the crime? Should we? This is what should we treat the bankers like this? Right? The bankers that rape the country, steal billions of dollars. Right? Does it work? Is it a solution? I don't know, man, but it, it, it definitely is damn well could be, right? So, so Yemen, all right, Yemen, you know, there's Al-Qaeda in Yemen. There's parts of Yemen. We're still dropping bombs on Yemen, right? Because Al-Qaeda, Obama said there's Al-Qaeda. Well, there is Al-Qaeda. And, you know, parts of the Iraqi jerk-offs have set up camp there, right? So, I don't know. It's an open discussion. Let's move on to the next topic, the next one. Let's see. Who else we're going to look at? Let's look at this. Let's look at this image. Oh, what is this? What is this? The American flag. There is a man on the moon. Did we really go to the moon? Is it possible? Is it possible that that photograph is genuine? Look, it's it's complete with, or is it a Hollywood studio? Right? Now the allegation is that we've been to the moon twelve times. I have the footprints. See the footprints. Uh, there's a flag now. People say, "Oh, there's no wind on 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 the moon," so look, the wave the flag is waving. But actually, there was a stick in the top of it. Right? They they put a stick through the top of it to prevent it from drooping. Right? That may be Buzz Aldrin. I don't know which one it is. Is it is it uh, Louis Armstrong? <laughs> I mean Neil Armstrong. Right? Is it a real picture? Did we really go to the moon? Right? Because they claim that we have gone to the moon, right? Twelve times, right? Twelve men, not twelve times, maybe like three or four times after Apollo 11, right? So is it possible? They say, you know, there's, there's photographs of it that the, the, the van, the, what is it, the van fucking Allen belt, right? the, radar, the, the radiation belt 350 miles off of the, off of the Earth's surface is impossible to get through radioactivity, how did they have real-time communications with Earth? <clears throat> I, I, I know there's a lot of people that know a lot about this stuff. And you guys are going to jump to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. And it's true. I, I really don't. I, I, know very, I know what the next guy knows about it. And I'm trying to stay open to the possibility that we have been duped for 50 years <clears throat> into believing that a man went to the moon. Men went went and stood on the moon, right? And this president, right, we just saw Buzz Aldrin at the uh, State of the Union, right, get up. He looked disheveled. He looked like he's been lying for 50 years, right? That was what he looked like to me, right? And you saw the president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, say, thank you, thank you, Buzz. Thank you, Buzz, for your service, right? So, so, so it's the president of the United States doubling down. Now, is it, is it possible that the president of the United States doesn't know? Is it possible that the baby Trump doesn't know that Buzz Aldrin lied? Is that a possibility? Is it possible that Trump is doubling down on a lie? Would Trump, would baby Trump do that? Would Trump lie? Hmm. I don't know. What about Elizabeth Warren? Would she lie? Let's talk about this one. So there's Elizabeth Warren's registration card for her board, a board board certified lawyer, right? A license to this is her signing up for her license to steal. Right? So it's Elizabeth Warren registration card. She paid her sixty bucks. There's the date, and what do we got down there? Oh damn, a fucking signature, man! Why is this important? Why is this important? Let's look at the top first. Right? I'll show you the line that makes all. Oh, you can see it already. There it is. There it is. Oh, damn. Race. American Indian. Damn. Gotcha. Date, 4-18-1986. Uh, 
she registered that's her registration card for the state of Texas right to become a lawyer a, a, a person that represents truth justice defends truth justice in the American way and there she is lying her ass off for advantage identifying she is a white woman clearly identifying herself as an American Indian for for advantage why else would you do that because you love Indians because you you're confused and you know what the fuck you are I don't think so man I think there's it's busted and why is it significant because look the the the, the Democratic Party is running on on identity politics they're running on the me too stuff that me too right that that I you know discrimination and everybody's discriminating against against us and fuck you we're women and fuck you we're black and fuck you we're Indians right so this is this is important because here's this woman saying it running for the highest office of our of our nation and she's a fucking liar right she lied she lied Oh God, she lied! I can't believe she lied. So here's Bernie Sanders, right? This this is the one that t ticks everybody off. Oh fucking! Oh Bernie, he took Bernie Sanders. He took seven hundred thousand dollars and bought himself a country home after Hillary Clinton. After he cheated, after Hillary Clinton cheated him, he took the money and bought himself a country home. And his wife is corrupt and all you fucking, all you fucking. And Trump is brilliant. I love Trump. Right? Trump is the man, right? Right? I know you're gonna write all that shit down. Trump, Bernie Sanders is a socialist, and he's a fucking old man. He's too old. He's a right. Okay, I've heard it all, but the only one talking about. Coming into not that it matters, I know. I mean, we just have we have fake elections anyway. We have, we have, uh, you know, rampant uh, uh, income and wealth inequality in this country. We have uh, money flowing into politics from the corrupt corporations that that the corrupt politicians do their bidding. Right? None of that's ever going to change, right? You can't change it because why? You got well, you got Trump who doesn't want to change it. He doesn't see that that is a problem. He says, build a wall, build a wall. A wall is going to solve the economic problem. But most people in this country don't see it as an economic problem because they believe that the economy is doing well, right? Everybody believes that the, that the, we're at the lowest rate of uh, of uh, uh, unemployment in history it's never been so low especially for blacks and Hispanics right we believe all that stuff right right do you believe it I don't believe it I think it's absolute nonsense right but but Trump Trump says it and people believe it and there's the uh, the 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 bulk maybe that 25 or 30 percent hardcore Trump people that can't can't turn their back on on Mr. Trump because if they if they admit that there is poverty in the country that forty percent of of our country is living in abject poverty right that that uh, you know half the country doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name that people are hurting that mo a lot of people don't have health care right and 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 on and on and on about the you know working two and a half jobs and they can't pay their bills right so if you're gonna if you're not gonna admit any of that right then then um, then you have to keep supporting Trump and nothing changes, right? But if if Sanders now can Sanders can Sanders beat? I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, lobbying here or petitioning or whatever or campaigning for Sanders, because I don't think I think that it's impossible really under the circumstances for him to win because the Democrats are just going to cheat him, and if he does get elected, they'll they'll pull the same thing that they did with the Republicans challenging him challenging Trump the way the Republicans challenge Trump the Democrats will challenge uh, Sanders uh, the same if not worse right so even if he could somehow cheat his way you know or overcome the incredible margin of cheating which I don't think he can and become the nominee for the Democratic Party which is a clearly a rigged election right where Democrats pick their candidate but if he does what a wonderful opportunity to have someone in the White House actually talking about poverty in the country, actually talking about income and wealth inequality in our great nation. Right? What a gift. What a, what, a, um, what a turning point. Now, they'll call him socialist. They're going to say it, none of it is possible. Free universal single health care. You're giving all the free stuff away. Right? But we're talking about we're talking about bringing balance, right? Economic balance back to the force. We have monopoly. We have oligarchy, right? We don't have 
a capitalist system that works anymore. We have a broken capitalist system that needs a, a simple reset. We need political reform to reset the process so that everybody, someone made the analogy on, in one of the comments, it's like rebooting your computer. Right? We, need a, we need an economic reset so that people have a, 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 the ability to compete once again rather than just being slaved into working shit jobs that, that lead nowhere that uh, people are strapped down with, uh, with un, unpayable debt for the, rest of their for the rest of their lives, right? But I know, I know. We got to support, we got we to gotta have faith and trust the plan, right? Is that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Instead, we have this guy, right? We have, we have coups, right? This is how you solve the problem, guys. You take a guy like this, this guy fucking John Bolton, right? And and you make him, you give him some authority, right? And then you, you tell him to to go threaten, threaten these guys. That's Hugo Chavez, and right? they killed him, right? That's Hugo Chavez, the the former president of uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. He's a socialist. Look at him. Look at those eyes, the eyes and the smile of a socialist. Oh, he wanted to give. He wanted to give things to the poor. He wanted to give, he wanted to nationalize the oil. How dare him? How dare you, Chavez? Roll in your grave, Mr. Chavez. We're taking your country. Fuck you, we're taking your oil. Right, that's America, right? I see Americans, man, going after fucking Maduro. Right? This shit is crazy stuff, man. We are living in some crazy times right now. So do we go to the moon? I don't know. Is there... Is Warren is Elizabeth Warren fucking allowed to run for president when she lied? Are we gonna care? This is our problems really bad when you think about Yemen and and the raping of a twelve year old and 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 nine year old girls being being uh, married off to some some Alibaba guy, right? And and uh, you know people make two dollars an hour in Yemen and. It's it's war, you know, war bombs. The Americans blowing them up. Al Qaeda coming in. Saudi Arabia screwing them on the other side. And what do they do? They fucking execute some pedophiles out in the out in the square and make them feel good, man. Make them feel good about yourself, man. Fucking shoot some homo, shoot some homo pedophiles, man. Right? I don't know, man. It's a crazy time. I think you know. Again, so it's fucking you know, yellow vest, man. It's the, you know the yellow vest, man. The French. The French Revolution is among us. Right? How bad does it have to get in America? Right? How bad does it have to get? How, how much pain, how much suffering do people have to have before they're willing to, to say, hey, you know what? You know what? If we all got together and boycotted the, the large corporations right, and demanded that we tax them to deflate them along with the billionaires that are attached to them, and create term limits and get the money out of politics, right? Get the money out of the hands of the politicians, the money that's coming down from the corporations and get the money out of the hands of the, out of the politicians, create term limits and limit the amount of time these bastards could stay in office, right? Maybe, just maybe, we could, we could uh, uh, get, get, get a sense of ease and, and, um, and, uh, uh, Equality make people feel good about America again because I don't think people do feel good about America. I think they want to try. They squeeze till they see the flag and they and they squeeze. Oh, I love my country. Yeah, but but the reality is people people are are um, especially abroad. People look, now look at us as if we're not the we're not the purveyors of of uh, well being anymore. It's become a militarized empire, and it's expanding. And uh, we're being lied to right to our face now. Right? That uh, we know the elections are rigged. We know that uh, you know that the insurgency wars are about global expansion. They're about uh, uh, U.S. quote interests that have no real benefit to the people anymore. Like for example, in Venezuela, you're gonna flip. You're gonna flip the bill for that. By the way, in case you haven't figured it out yet, in Venezuela. Right? They're, they're pitching it to the American people as if we, the American people, are going into Venezuela to free the poor Venezuelan people and feed them. 
right? And, and, and it's a humanitarian effort, a humanitarian crisis in Venezuela. And we, the, the very just and noble Americans, are going to go in and we're going to solve that problem for them, right? And then at the same time, the, 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 the IMF and the World Bank are going to take all the oil from under their feet and sell it in the open market, right? We're going we're gonna to we're gonna denture into their fucking oil Right? And try to get in front of the Japanese and the Chinese and the fucking Russians, right? Label them ty tyrants, right? We're going to get in front of that shit, right? We're going to get that oil, man. We're going to get that oil money, right? And then you're going to flip the bill for it because you got what we told you you were going to get. You, you know, you actually, I mean, you actually want something f for, for, your, for your labor. Well, we're giving the corporations the, the benefit. Right? And that trickles down. Right? That'll eventually trickle down. Right? Fucking, we take the oil, Exxon and, and, and all the rest of the companies, right? We, we, we take that oil and, and the corporations are going to sell that oil and then they're going to trickle down the profits to you. You're going you're gonna to get some. You get maybe a, a you know, penny or two off on your gas, but, but not really. Fucking, hey, listen, man, you got to pay, right? If you want to drive your car, you got to pay, right? So, so be happy that in Venezuela, you're going to flip the bill for that. U.S. has $700 billion burning, burning a hole in their pocket for, that, uh, for the war machine, right? You know about that money, right? It's still sitting there, right? They got to spend that money, man. They got to spend that money, and it looks like it's going to be Venezuela, you know? So uh, Marcus Conti, Marcus Conti, Marcus, Con Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, cold day in New York. Hey, become a Patreon, right? Pa become a Patreon. We're just getting started here, guys. We are just getting started.